And that's how you split the sandstone. Stone hammer right here. It's much easier to work with than just a stone. Less load on your hands. Looks like there will be a tail here and a base over here. Now we will continue to break down and remove larger pieces of stone, basically doing the boasting part of the job. Right, the next step is to remove this part here. So I'll go ahead and do it now. The work is done with a stone hammer. I have a couple of these. We will try to use a bone saw moving forward. So we have to make one from the large cow bone, which we are about to crack. We have a bunch of bone fragments now. I will continue with the sewing operation. We use the bone here. Also try this piece of wood. It's easy, just mix some river sand and water, add a bit of clay and keep sewing. I would need to hammer these edges down. The problem is that the saw gets stuck inside now because of the old angle. The initial stage of stone boasting is nearly finished now. I was able to break off such pieces while using the larger stone over here. Now I will use a smaller one to knock out tiny grooves like this. During the initial stage boasting I was able to remove larger pieces like here. Now I leave much neater marks like here. The head will be here, and the tail will be right there. The base still needs some work. We need to lift it up. The head is here, and the tail is right there. Also, this bump must go away too. Some markings done for the head. Still a bit rough, but it starts to take a shape.
some outdoor activities scheduled for today. We have moved our workshop, but there is still no chair or table. So we will enjoy some fresh air outside instead. Currently, one handle is slightly bigger than the other, and we have to make them look identical. When it comes to the tail, the original specimens one is sharper, and it also has a beak right here. Both of these elements are rather subtle. I'm worried that I might break them in the process, so instead, first I'm going to shape the neck over here and drill out the inner cavity section, and only then I'll get to the tail and the beak. I have constructed this drill press and gonna use it now. And that's how the drill bit grins in. Works just like that. I have decided to add a sharper sand and limestone chunks as an additional abrasive. This was done in order to expand the depth and the width of cavity at one given time. A half hour's work, and we can clearly see a layer of dust. We have some bone needles, and we're gonna use these to drill holes in our handles, starting now. I'm trying to drill small holes in vessel handles, managed to break a couple of needles by now. Quite a fragile tool, though still does the job. Nearly done now. The beak. is done.